Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Parchala. Today we will solve two problems of partial differential equations from West Bengal State 2023. We was given two problems from partial differential equations and we will now solve both of them. So the first problem is from uh, question book let's see is A, question number 41. So here this problem is to find out the form of the solution of this given PDE x u x plus y u y equals to 0. So we know a general type of a linear partial differential equations of this form where small p is del z del x and small q is del z del y. It is known as Lagrange's equation where capital P, Q and capital R are the functions of x, y and z. So to solve this Lagrange's equation we have to form the subsidiary or auxiliary equations of the form this dx by p is equals to dy by q is equals to dz by r. So, from this equation number 2, taking two ratios at a time and by using method of solving ordinary differential equation, we obtain u is equals to c1, v is equals to c2 as two independent solutions of equation 2. And the general solution of 1 can be written as phi uv is equals to 0 or in the form c1 is equals to f of c2 or f of c1 is equals to c2. Now, let's solve the main problem applying this. So, here the given partial differential equation is of the form x u x plus y u y is equals to 0. So, here we can write Lagrange's auxiliary equations as this dx by x is equals to dy by y is equals to du by 0. So, first taking this third fraction we get du is equals to 0 and integrating we get u is equals to c1 where c1 is arbitrary constant. Then we can take first two ratios and what we get here? We get dx by x is equals to dy by y and here integrating both sides we get log x is equals to log y plus log c2 where this is the arbitrary constant. And from here we can write log x by y is equals to log c2. So what we get then? We get x by y is equals to c2. So we can write the general solution of this Lagrange equation as c1 is equals to f of c2. And then what we get? We get u is equals to f of x by y. So here we get the solution in the form what? We get in the form f of x by y. So, here what are the options given? Here given in option A f of x by y. As we get the solution in this form, so this is our correct option f of x by y. Now let us see another problem of partial differential equation. It is question number 63 from the question booklet series x. So here the problem is given if the partial differential equation this is parabolic in S subset of R2 then S is xy belongs to R2 such that x equals to 1 or y is equals to 2 and xy belongs to R2 such that x equals to 1 and y is equals to 2 and xy belongs to R2 such that x equals to 1 and xy belongs to R2 such that y is equals to 2. So let's see one thing. Here, suppose we have a second order partial differential equation of this form where a del to u del x2 where a is the coefficient of del to u del x2, b del to u del x del y plus c into del to u del y2 plus t del u del x plus e del u del y plus f of x y u is equals to g x y. Then we can say this p d e as parabolic if we get this coefficient of del 2 u del x del y that is b b square minus 4 a into c is equals to 0 where a is the coefficient of del 2 u del x 2 and c is the coefficient of del 2 u del y 2. So and when we get b square minus 4 a c is greater than 0 we can say the PDE is hyperbolic and when we get b square minus 4 a c less than 0 we can say the PDE is elliptic. Now let's see our given problem. Here the given second order PD is this and here it is given that this PD is parabolic. So here 
we get a is equals to x minus 1 whole square as here the coefficient of del 2 u del x2 is x minus 1 whole square and b is equals to 0 as we can see here del 2 u del x del y is absent. So the coefficient of del 2 u del y2 is y minus y minus 2 whole square. So he, we put here c is equals to minus y minus 2 whole square. Now as here it is given that this second order pd is parabolic. So we can say that b square minus 4c will be 0. So, we can put here b, a and c. So, we here get b square equals to 0 minus 4a x minus 1 whole square and c is equals to minus of y minus 2 whole square we put here. And what we get? We get here 4 into x minus 1 whole square into y minus 2 whole square. From here we get this and this term should be 0 when we put either x equals to 1 or y is equals to 2. So, this implies x equals to 1 or y is equals to 2. Then, this term should be 0. You have to put it in your mind that this is x equals to 1 or y is equals to 2 because x equals to 1 and y is equals to 2 both are not required for making 0 this term. So, here Option A is true, not option B. You have to put it in your mind that option A is true. So, this is our two problems from West Bengal State 2023 PDE problems. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel and support us.